this is this is this is Apple from Candelitra. Candelitra. So today I'm going to be talking about my crayfish, which I have conveniently placed right over there. So, right over here, as I said, very conveniently placed, is my friend Craig the Cuddle, or not Cuddlefish, I keep making that up, Crayfish, and he is a virile crayfish, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it anyway. So the pincers don't really hurt until he's an adult. I'm not going to pinch myself until the end, but he sometimes lets water out of his tail. When he's up above water because he's annoyed like that, exactly. He tries to hit me. Okay, so I'm gonna put him back down. Yeah. And then we'll talk about his other things. So here I'm gonna pick him back up again and then we'll get in a close up for the camera while I say his other names. So let me grab him. Okay, we're good. That should be good. So, this is our crayfish, Craig the crayfish. So he is a, as I said, brow crayfish, but he has plenty of other names: the northern crayfish, the eastern crayfish, the um, lake crayfish, and also the common crawfish. So he has a lot of other names. So this crayfish currently is 10 centimeters long. You can also tell that he's quite young because of his claws. Sometimes, or when they are older, their claws have blue tips. But as you can see, this one has more orange. And so this one, as I said, is nine centimeters, but we don't know what they can grow up to. They also have tons of tiny little claws on their other feet, which is pretty interesting. I can feel those ones, they're very strange to feel. They're more like hooks and claws, mainly. They also have a little bit of like, they look like spikes on their tail, but they're not. They're just little flaps of skin. Okay, this, they eat whatever they can get their hands on, so let's see if he tries eating meat. Or pincers on them. Oh, oh, that hurts! Oh. Needless to say, that was a mistake. Cut my hand right open. There was more blood on this, but we wiped it off with a leaf. Oh, you fly. So we can see a little bit more, like a bit of the pinch, pinch marks better. So if you look closely, one of them is right here on my finger. The other is right here. So it got like the whole tip of my finger somehow. I didn't even know you were capable of that. So, yeah, that whole experience was kind of cray-cray. <laughs> okay, so after that stupid joke out of the way, what I was going to say is, they are, I said what they they eat. They eat whatever they can get their pincers on. Thankfully, not my, thankfully they didn't eat the, my finger, but it hurt a lot. So, that was a mistake. But anyway, they get eaten by fish and people. Those are their two main predators. They hunt fish, invertebrates, bugs. Well, okay, so landing. they breed July through August, or July through the fall, sorry. And the, mo the mothers carry their eggs on their back, which looks like straight up mold. If we can find a copyright free image, we'll probably put it here, but. Oh my goodness, it's hideous. <laughs> they lay their eggs about 150 to 200 every single time, which, to be honest, might even look more disgusting than just mold on the back. I mean, seriously, who would imagine that? They hibernate in the fall in the deeper water. Like, when, it, when the water gets cold, they hibernate, and hibernate in the deeper water because the, the higher water is generally colder. They hide under rocks and fallen logs and stuff underwater in the daytime and in the nighttime they hunt. Oh my goodness, there's bugs.
bugs around me. Cut, cut, cut. He licks water off his tail. But yeah, the pin, the pincers don't really hurt until they're. In a world where crayfish want everything to burn to the ground. Okay, I think that's a cut.